My name is uh, John Thompson. I am a, a doctor by training, trained in the Royal College of Surgeons in Ireland, specialized in uh, anesthesia and intensive care medicine. When I finished my specialist training, I went to work for Pfizer, the pharmaceutical company, uh, before leaving to start my own medical devices company, Origin Medical is a company which specializes in the development of a an implant for patients with an um, advanced late stage atrial fibrillation and its role is to um, reduce the stroke and the arrhythmia risk associated with long standing and persistent atrial fibrillation I mean, we recognize that the grant bid writer is not an expert in our area. So I think it's our, it's our duty to, I suppose, relay the passion and enthusiasm and the science behind our innovation. But I, the role of the grant writer really, I suppose, is to put that into a format that makes it as easy for us to score as high as possible when that is assessed by um, the examiners. And for us, it's been critical because um, it's very fine margins. In terms of, you know, there can be many excellent pro programs that are that submit for grant awards. And, you know, it's going to come down to, you know, potentially just a few percent or a few tenths of a mark. And um, we've always been very, very happy with the support we've gotten from Mark in particular in ensuring that our applications really hit all of those kind of those key criteria for the examiners, ensuring that we maximize um, the scores. Well, I think what it does is it, it kind of it prevents wasting a lot of time. Um, so what we would tend to do is we would tend to put together quite a long document, I suppose, initially. So um, for a lot of our, most of the applications we would apply for, there's a limitation in the amount of uh, pages that can be uh, submitted. So we would tend to put together quite a long document, include everything that we want in there. And then Mark would go away, kind of review it, um, rationalize it, reduce it down, ensuring that we maximize the scoring. So there are various peculiarities with each of these application processes. There are, there's different um, focuses. So e it may just be a matter of minor tweaks to the application, but those minor tweaks can be enough to get you, you know, significant numbers of marks. And that's where um, Mark's experience really kind of comes to the fore. And, and it's not an experience that our team has, and we recognize that. I mean, we obviously, we're, we're, we know our business very well, but uh, each of the different uh, grant um, awards have their own um, peculiarities. And I think his ability to be able to kind of reduce down what is a very complex um, business, which is the business we're in, I mean, medical devices is very complex, uh, and make it not take out that complexity, but but make it much more um, amenable to the kind of audiences that tend to examine these um, applications. And we grant, we ranked first in the um, fast track to innovation across Europe. So we got a lot of very positive publicity from that, um, which was obviously hugely helpful for the company and opened up uh, doors to investors, doors to potential business partners, to physicians. Um, so from that point of view, hugely valuable. Because of the success we've had in uh, at European um, European grants and with the Disruptive Technology Innovation Fund in Ireland, you know, a lot of people want to know what was the secret sauce. You know, how did we get there? And I would say, look, it's you need to have a compelling business, obviously, and be doing something important. But secondary, I said, you know, we had a fantastic grant writer and um, Mark Greatrex was the grant writer who supported us throughout these applications. Um, we had a good business, but I think it was with his support, we were able to make it so compelling that it just had to be funded at a European level. And so time we managed to rank first across Europe. And it was, I would say, in a large part because of his support. Obviously, we have a good business and that's important too. And we have big ambitions. But I think, you know, that can often get lost, especially when you've got very technical people and involved in the business. And they can often focus a lot of their attention and time in the application on how great the technology is, but fail to actually communicate just what value that can bring to um, to people, to patients, to governments, to physicians. And that's really the value I think that Mark brings. You know, he, he allows you to put your technology into a broader perspective that makes it much easier to fund. And, and I think I have personally recommended at least seven or eight companies to Mark over the last year and would continue to do so in the future.